What is the role of ANDE in the context of impact investing worldwide and in Brazil? I believe that this is the role of AMD globally and here in Brazil we do a lot of this networking and knowledge producing and sharing with our members and with our partners and we have been studying the sector locally so what are the bus those business that are uh, generating impact, the social business, the inclusive business and the uh, what, what, what are their needs and trying to understand a little bit more on that. And now we are studying also the, the capital side, the, the offer side. So trying to understand a little bit more on the investors and uh, what are the challenges, what are the capital committed and all those informations about this local ecosystem here in Brazil and what are their needs that we can recommend for the sector. So. Um, I see that is the role that Andy has been playing in this local and the global sector. In your opinion, what are the current uh, weaknesses and strengths of uh, impact investing and its development in Brazil? Okay, so the strengths, I see that since 2010 and specifically from 2012 to now, we have seen a really increasing in the interest of the impact investing sector in Brazil. So there is a lot more capital committed to impact investments in Brazil. We have a lot more professionals, high quality professionals in, engaged in this sector. We have young talents uh, starting to look at this sector and get involved. With. We have more business also trying to understand and try to generate more impact. So, and we see also like DFIs and the government and corporations, universities engaged in this sector. So there is um, a common sense that impact investing is something important and it's a sector in Brazil. And there is a lot of capital that has been deployed on this um, business. And uh, from the two years from now, we saw a lot more capital being committed than 10 years ago. So it's a really uh, big increase for the sector. But on the other hand, uh, the challenges that we see is that to make deals and to find good business is too hard. And we also see that all the players they are very concentrated in the Southeast region. So we are not exploring all the, the regions and all the potential in all the areas of Brazil. Uh, first, because uh, most of the, the organizations engaged on this sector, they are small and sometimes it's the, the human capacity that it's not easy to reach out other regions. Uh, but also because uh, the, the, the ecosystem is still small. So we need to expand that to other people, let people know that the impact investing actually exists and the business with impact actually is something interesting and something that can balance the society that we have. So it's still the challenge is that this is very concentrated. On the other hand, the other challenge is that we have this theory of change with impact investing, but it's still hard to prove it through metrics. So improving how to measure this sector and how to measure the impact that these organizations are actually generating and how different this is from the other uh, regular and traditional business, it's also important to make this uh, sector grow and continue growing and in Brazil and in the other countries. So, these are some of the challenges, the main challenges that I've seen here in Brazil and also the main opportunities that we see uh, uh, in the sector. Like it's a really growing sector and um, all the people involved in this sector, they see this very positively, but there is still some work to do to improve that. Okay, perfect. Thank yeah. you very much.